Hello friends from this part, we have start learning PHP coding for online examination system in PHP. This is our online examination database, and here we can see admin table, with 7 table column, admin registration data will be stored under this table, and password has been stored in hash format. This is our working folder, for setup admin account, we have go to master folder, in this folder, we will make part admin side. Here we will use, object oriented PHP to programming for build this PHP based online exam system. This is admin registration file, and here we have already included jQuery library, bootstrap library, and parsley javascript library link. Now we have go to HTML code part, for make registration form, so here we have write form tag, with method is equal to post, and ID is equal to admin register form. Under this form, we have write input type is equal to text, name is equal to admin email address, and ID is equal to admin email address. After this for enter admin password, we have write input type is equal to password, name, and ID is equal to admin password. For verify password, we need to re-enter admin password, for this here we have write input type is equal to password, name, and ID is equal to confirm admin password. In this form, we have defined one input type is equal to hidden, name is equal to page and value is equal to register. This field value we will use in Ajax code. Same way in this form, we have defined one more hidden field, with name is equal to action, and value is equal to register. For submit form data, here we have write input type is equal to submit, name and id is equal to admin register by click on this button admin register detail will be sent to server using ajax below this form we have write anchor tag with ref is equal to login.php by click on this link page will redirect to admin login page here for validate form data, we have used Parsley JavaScript library, and here first we want to validate, admin has to register with unique email address. For this, we have go to jQuery code part, and we have to make custom Parsley validator for check, particular email address has been already registered or not. So, here we have write window.parsleyvalidator.add validator method. In this method, we have to define name of validator, so here we have write check email, so this is name of this custom validator. Now we have go to text box HTML code, and here we have write data parsley check email, so here we have add this attribute for called custom validator. After this we want to define error message for this validator, so here we have write data parsley check email message is equal to, message like email address already exists. Now we have go to custom validator jQuery code, 
and here we have write validate string callback function, with value as argument, this value argument will be the value of admin email text box. Under this function, we have write return statement, with ajax request, so under this function we have create ajax request. Under this ajax request, we have write first option url set to, ajax action.php file, it will send request to this file. In second option, we have write method, and here we have write post, so it will use post method for send data to server. In third option, we have write data, and in this option we can define which data, we want send to server, so here we send page with value register, action variable with value check email and email variable with value argument as value. In fourth option, we have write data type, which has been set to JSON, so it will receive data in JSON format. Lastly, we have write success callback function, this function has been called, if request completed successfully, and it will receive data from server. If it has received data from server, then under this block we have write return true statement, that means particular email available for registration, but it has not received any data, that means admin email has been already register in our database. Below this, we have write dollar with form ID, admin register form, with parsley method, it will initialize form validation, library on this form. Now we have moved to write PHP script, first we have go to examination.php class file. In this class file, we have defined variable like, $host, username, password, database, connect, home page, query, data, statement and file data variable. Under this class file, we have write function construct, this function will be called in new object of this class has been created. Under this function, we have write dollar this with host is equal to local host. After this, we have write dollar this with username is equal to root. For define password detail, here we have write dollar this with password is equal to blank. Same way for define database detail, here we have write dollar this with database is equal to online examination. Now we want to define home page of the system, so here we have write dollar this, with home page is equal to, home page link. For make database connection, here we have write dollar this connect is equal to, nuke class, with three argument. In first argument, we have write mysql host is equal to, dollar this host variable, database name is equal to, dollar this database variable, username set tot dollar this username variable, and password set to dollar this password variable. After making database connection, we want to start session, 
So here we have write session start function. Below this function, we have make one another function, with name execute query, this function, will execute query. Under this function, we have write dollar the statement variable is equal to, dollar this, with connect variable with prepare statement, and under this statement, we have write dollar this query variable. This statement, will make query for execute, and for execute query, we have write dollar this, statement variable with execute method, and under this, we have write dollar this data variable, it will execute query. After this, we have make one another function, with name total row, this function will return how many row affected, after query execution. Under this function, we have called execute query function. After this, we have write return statement, with dollar this statement variable, with row count method, this method will return number of row, this both function we will use for multiple purpose, for build this system. Now we have go to ajaxaction.php file, and here we have write include statement with examination.php, here we have include examination class, in this file. For create object of this class, we have write dollar exam variable is equal to, new examination class, here we have create object of this class, for use different method of this class. Below this, we have write if statement, with condition like is set function with dollar post page variable, if this variable value is set then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write, another if statement, with condition like dollar post page variable is equal to register, if this page variable value is equal to register, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write if statement, and under condition we have write, dollar post action variable is equal to, check email, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. So, now under this block, we have write dollar exam with query variable is equal to, select star from admin table, where admin email address is equal to, dollar post email variable. This query will check, particular email data has been available or not in database. After this, we have write dollar total row variable is equal to, dollar exam object with total row method, it will return total row affected, after query execution. Now we have write, if statement and under condition, we have write dollar total row variable is equal to zero, if this condition true, then it will execute if block of code. Under this block, we have write dollar output variable is equal to array, with key success with value true. For send this data to Ajax request, here we have write echo statement with JSON encode method, with dollar output variable, it will send this data to Ajax request in JSON string format. Now we have check output in browser. Friends, here we can see, 
In browser we have enter localhost slash tutorial slash online examination slash master, then on web page we can see admin register form. In our database, one of the admin has register with dynamore at gmail.com email address, so in email address field we have enter dynamore at the rate gmail.com. Now we have click on register button, after click on register button, we can see this entered email has already register in database. So. Now we have enter web tutorial at the rate programmer.net and now we click on register button. After click on register button, on web page we can see validation error has been removed and form has been submitted. So, in this part, we have seen how to validate unique admin registration email address in next we will proceed for submit register form using Ajax with form data validate by using Parsley JavaScript library. If you have some suggestion regarding this PHP based online examination system, you can comment in comment box. If you want to learn this system, please stay connected with us.